Okay, we've just arrived. We've just arrived at the port and we already spotted a giant sea lion just here. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Okay, ready? And back. Woohoo, down the hill. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Awesome, yep, that'll do. Rock and roll. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 231 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Maldonado in Uruguay. Whee! Today we are heading to the capital city, Montevideo. Let's tackle the next capital. <laughs> <laughs> but before we hit the big city, we're going to be checking out a couple of spots along the way, along Uruguay's coastline. Starting with a crazy bridge and then the resort town of Punta del Este, where they have apparently sea lions, a massive colony of sea lions. Yes! And then we'll be making our way along the coast to Montevideo. We'll be going, checking out the place, going through and then finding a nice wild camp on the other side. Yeah, so a pretty exciting day ahead. We have about 120 miles, about three and a half hours riding. For us, probably more like five or six hours riding. So better hit the road, let's go. It's a beautiful sunny day in Maldonado. It's like a different world to the two first days we had in the country, I tell you. Oh, oh no. Definitely. Look at this massive sand dune here next to us. Pretty awesome. cool. Here we are at our first point of interest. <laughs> Look at these crazy bridges. Wow. And look at the size of this uh, Uruguayan flag in this roundabout. Amazing. So this bridge is called the Lionel Vera Bridge. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. How weird is that? That's some of a kind, hey? Wow. Okay, wait, I'm going to go around and ride the other one. So this bridge was built in 1965 by a guy called Lionel Vieira and actually he had never done any architecture or civil engineering projects before and he just came up with this really really cool design for a bridge wait hold on <laughs> and actually this bridge is made with cables that are suspended on these two points and then what he did is he laid concrete on top of the cables and he stressed the cables with sandbags weighing them down and then concreted over the top and then took off the sandbags so that the bridge sort of pops slightly back up and compresses the whole thing together and uh, it was such an ingenious design that he became really famous afterwards and the town Maldonado actually commissioned him to build the second one so he then built both bridges next to each other here over the Maldonado Creek yeah in the end he came up with just a really really cool design for a bridge and it's really fun to ride on yes yeah, absolutely incredible the design is so genius really So there we go, whilst we were here in town, we thought we would just show you guys that crazy bridge. <laughs> Super crazy bridge. 
So now we're just coming into the city Punta del Este And look at this up ahead High rises baby Yeah <laughs> This is like Miami or something Punta del Este actually just started as a normal small coastal town But uh, it soon became like internationally famous as a resort town, jet setter town Celebrities came here This town normally has a population of about 12,500 people but in the high season you won't believe it more than 400,000 people coming here to visit <laughs> it's absolutely insane wow look at these buildings here yeah some luxury <laughs> luxury condos here wow but there's something about this city that interests us a lot more than these buildings and that is the second largest colony of sea lions in the world reside just off the coast so we'll be heading over to the port and we'll see if we can find some look at this there's a giant hand sculpture awesome so we're coming up to the port here oh rolls royce it looks like a really really rich area here oh uh, yes yeah i think there's some big big mega yachts down here okay keep an eye out and let me know if you see any sea lions hmm where can i ride there's a car going down there i think i can ride down there okay maybe we could just park up here for a moment yeah that's a good idea let's just stop here okay okay we've just arrived we've just arrived at the port and we already spotted a giant sea lion just here and this guy was massive oh I can see his tail whoa no way oh it's massive Oh my goodness. We just gotta wait for him to come out. Wow, there are two. There's two. Yes. This is the reason the guys are here. Look at these guys processing all the fish. And I think the sea lions are loving that. I think the seals are not very happy that the humans stealing the fish from them. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are trying to steal some back. Yes, exactly. <laughs> chuck some shark heads or fish heads into the water okay Lavi's gonna chuck some oh my god it's really hard as a vegetarian <laughs> oh you're so vegetarian right now oh my god look at these guys no way oh my god Whoa! Whoa, look at that! This is the biggest one. Oh! Whoa! Six! Six! Whoa! He must be about three meters long. Oh, here we go, the big guy's coming now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's slimy. Oh, that's slimy. Hello, buddy. You want a nice little little fish head? Whoa. Beautiful. Wow. 
Wow, what a place. Awesome. Wow, that was so cool that we could just ride straight up to this area and then it's like, oh, sea lions in front. Yes, how incredible. Wow, what an amazing experience. I can't believe it. How big they were, the sea lions, massive. Yeah, I thought they were just the same like seals originally, you know? I thought they were just going to be seals here. But then when we saw this massive guy coming up out of the water, and we're like, oh my God, they are much bigger than seals. It's like three meters long, I think that guy was. Yeah, it's incredible. And you're like scared and excited at the same time, you know? <laughs> yeah, and actually just off the coast of this city there's an island on this island is the world's second largest colony of sea lions there are 200,000 of them wow and this island is just a few kilometers off the coast here wow that's absolutely incredible no wonder some of the sea lions are a little bit lazy and just hang around the port hey <laughs> yes <laughs> lazy fat ones yeah exactly just gonna fuel up before we leave town the very expensive petrol station here in Uruguay. Yeah, what's the price per litre for Super 74? That's about £1.50 uh -huh. per litre. Uh -huh. So, yeah, quite a hike up from Brazil. Yeah. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, super uh, complete uh, full. Um, we forgot the, the word, no? We were practicing it so much. On Espanol, full? Si, sí, lleno, está bien. Lleno. Lleno, lleno. Cheno. Ah, yes, lleno. Lleno. <laughs> we're going to be making our way now along the coast towards Uruguay's capital, Montevideo. Whee! lunch break on the side of the road so we're having some bread rolls and some cheese Whee! <laughs> and yesterday I cooked up some lentils very nice German style lentil soup <laughs> with some potatoes some carrots some onion garlic Yummy! There's not much going on on this road between uh, Punta del Este and Montevideo hey not really, it's pretty much just a straight line. Yeah, it's following the coast, but um, just like most coast roads we've been on, uh, it's still a few kilometers from the actual coast, so we can just about see over there behind the tree line where the actual coast is. But yeah, from here you can't really see too much. Yeah. So it's basically just cruise control at 50, in a straight line, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> We've got a payage here, but the cool thing about these payages in Uruguay is that they're free for motos. Yes. <laughs> So we have our own little special lane here, motos. Whee! That's really, really cool. Thank you, Uruguay. <laughs> give you a little obstacle course to go through and that's it. You're through. We have arrived Whee! in Uruguay's capital city, Montevideo. <laughs> this city actually has a population of 1.3 million people, which is one third of the entire country's population, two million in the greater area, which is crazy for such a small country. Yeah, absolutely. But you can see why people want to live here, because it's just a great city, a great place. Yeah, it's consistently ranked the best quality of life of any city in South America. How crazy is that, hey? 
but it's funny actually because no one actually knows exactly where the name Montevideo comes from. So everyone agrees on Monte, it means mountain or mount or hill. But the video part, there's like lots of different theories from different like historians and stuff as to what uh, the video part actually means. The most common theory is that when the first Portuguese sailors came past this area, one of the Portuguese sailors, he saw the main hill next to the city and said, Monte Video, like I see a mountain there. So, Monte Video, apparently. Yeah, it seems like a good idea, definitely. <laughs> it seems quite a legitimate guess, but. Yes. Uh, but there's lots of other ideas, so nobody really knows for sure. Mm, interesting. So lucky for us, there's actually this road, uh, which is called Rambla. And uh, this coast road just snakes its way all the way around the city. We can just sort of have really nice views here along the coast. Yeah, it's a good way to pass through the city, snaking our way along the coast. Hey, this is the best way to see it. Well, this city is just one long ocean avenue. It just goes bay after bay after bay. So it looks like we're coming into the central area of the city. So now we're just gonna take a little excursion inland into the city to the very, very heart, a place called Plus the Independence. It is not very busy here. It's nice. I can't believe it. We're like really in the heart of the city now. And uh, well, it feels like a Sunday. <laughs> it feels like a Sunday on a Saturday. Yeah. Look at this. Streets are empty. Amazing. Ah, and here we are. Plus the independence. Ta -da! Oh, look at that. Wow! Awesome! This is called Palacio Salvo, this building. Uh, the Salvo Palace. And uh, it was built in 1928 by an Italian architect. And uh, inside here is the Tango Museum of Montevideo. When this building was built, it was the tallest building in South America. 100 meter tall yeah amazing that's pretty much the most famous building here in montevideo i'm just going to go around the square again so we can get a better look yeah <laughs> <laughs> because there's like no one here we can just go around and around the square as much as we want amazing i mean how different is this to plastic independence in dakar it is busy and hot <laughs> <laughs> It's busy and hot here in Senegal. It's day and night. Day and night, hey? Yeah. This is like my favourite capital city to ride in so far. <laughs> yes. Wow. There it is. That. Palacio Salvo. That's awesome. Look at that. It's so pretty. Do people live in there? Yeah, I mean, they originally built it to be a hotel, but mm -hmm. it never actually happened. And oh. now it's a mix of offices, apartments, it's a bit of a mishmash of stuff. Wow. Okay. Very cool. So we're just heading out of the other side of Montevideo. We just passed this like massive port area, the less beautiful side of the big cities. And now we're heading to Cerro Montevideo, which is the hill that the Portuguese sailors that he saw and he said Montevideo. Well, that's the Monte that we're going to go and check out now. That's it over there. 
and there should be a sign that says Montevideo, a bit like Hollywood. We're climbing up, climbing up the mountain of Montevideo. Whee! So it's not a very big hill and I think we're nearing the top already. Ah, and there's like a fort on top. That's cool. Oh look, you can see the whole city already. Yeah, awesome. We didn't climb up very high, but already the whole city in front. And somewhere here should be, ah, there it is. The Montevideo sign. Whee! Haha, <laughs> cool. Montevideo and the whole city behind. That's cool. Cool. What a nice city view, hey? Very, very pretty. Ciao. Nice, so we've got big ocean views here as well. Very cool. Look at that. And it's so green in between as well. You have a lot of trees around. It's really cool. So there you go, Montevideo from the top of Cerro Montevideo. So now we'll be making our way back down from the heights of this great mountain. <laughs> we'll be making our way over to a camp that we've seen on iOverlander, a free camp. Probably take us about an hour. And it's already getting quite late in the day, hey? Yes. Half past five already. Whoa. Goodbye, Montevideo. Bye bye. It was a really nice visit, very awesome city. So it looks like we're getting up to the area where we're going to be camping and you've got the ocean right in front. Very cool. Awesome. Wow. So it says we've still got to go half a mile up here, but it already looks pretty good for camping, hey? Yeah. Wow, we're pretty nice area here. Yeah, it looks epic. Yeah. It's just like these beautiful, nice spaces in between the trees with the ocean view. Amazing. Okay, there's a little track here. Let's go down this little track. Let's see how it is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh. It's another little road. Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. It's just like, there's nothing, it's just the trees and the ocean. That's pretty cool. How about this part in between the trees? Okay. This looks quite big, open and flat, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's just park up here, yeah. Yep. Perfect. Well, you can't get better than that, hey? Perfect. Nice, let's set it up. guys we made it happy and alive Whee! <gasps> this is an amazing camping spot look at our view in front it's nothing but ocean 
forest behind, a space for bumblebee and the tent. That's awesome. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So it was a ride of two cities, Punta del Este, Montevideo, and I really enjoyed both of those places. <laughs> yeah, wow, it was absolutely amazing to see the sea lions. How crazy is that, hey? Wow. Yeah, they were absolutely massive and they were right there at the port and we could just park at Bumblebee, walk on over and be like, hey, sea lions, what's up? <laughs> what was awesome. And awesome. then Montevideo was not as busy as I expected by far. We've had some crazy experiences going through capital cities so far on this trip. So this was actually a very tame, very nice capital city trip. Mm -hmm went really smoothly. So we did at the end 160 miles, which is about 250 kilometers. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. So we're having for dinner a boiled potato. <laughs> I boiled the potato uh, this morning with some fresh cut onion and a little bit salt on top. I think that should be quite nice. And then we have as a main noodles. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got the important job of water filtering. Not a bad spot here. Not a bad restaurant, hey?